You're visiting the backyard of one of the city's Koala Friends Program members. Later, we'll also visit a volunteer wild care member who is caring for several orphaned koalas. Alongside you is one of our city conservation officers. Many koalas on the Gold Coast live in residential areas and are particularly at risk of threats from dogs, vehicles and disease. Residents can do a lot to help reduce threats to koalas, starting in their own backyard. For residents living in priority koala conservation areas, such as Currumbin, Eleonora, Talabudra, Burley Heads, Parkwood, Coomera and Pimpama, maintaining a koala safe backyard is very important. A significant number of koalas are admitted to the wildlife hospital suffering from bites from domestic dogs. These usually occur in suburban backyards. This backyard is a good example of koala friendly design. The fence is easy for a koala to climb which helps them escape from the family dog or cat. The residents ensure that their pets are housed indoors from dusk to dawn, which is when koalas are most likely to be on the move. If the fence is made from material that cannot easily be climbed, such as colour bond, a log or a plank can be secured along the fence to provide an escape route. We've moved to a koala enclosure belonging to Wild Care volunteer Karen. Karen is providing freshly cut gum leaves for the koala joeys in her care. Koala joeys of this age will eat up to 300 grams of eucalyptus leaves per day. These joeys are between 12 and 14 months of age and will remain in care for several more months before being released back into the wild. Ruby was reported to wild care by a community member who found her clinging to her dead mother on the side of the road at Corumbum Waters. Thankfully they stopped and reported her so that she could receive urgent veterinary care for her injuries and has been hand raised for the last five months. Raya was found by a community member on their property at Corumbum Valley sitting on the ground with no sign of her mother. She was very weak and they kindly took her to the Corumbum Wildlife Hospital for urgent care. Raya was found to be anemic and was given a blood transfusion. She is currently being treated for chlamydial disease. Rose was found by a community member on the ground as a small joey at Lismore. She was only 600 grams and was very sick. She has been in care for the past four months. It is important to ensure the koala receives early treatment and has the best chance of recovery. Be sure to report any sick or injured koalas to Wild Care Australia. Sightings of healthy koalas can be reported to City of Gold Coast using the online GC Have Your Say survey form or ringing through to the 1300 Gold Coast hotline.